All Saints Church, Rahimi. On Hoth Road, near Water Mill Road, stands All Saints Church on a site which was once part of St Anne's Estate, the large area of land between Rahini and Clontarf that had belonged to the Guinness family. It had been built, like so many other buildings, by Lord Ardalon, who owned St Anne's Estate in the late 19th century. In 1885, Lord Ardalon went to a meeting at the old St Assam's Church in the heart of Rahini village, which was the parish church for the Church of Ireland community then, and of which there are now only ruins left. At that time, St Assam's was very old and needed a lot of repairs. Lord Ardalon offered to build a new church and pay for it himself. He chose George Ashlin, who also designed the Red Stables, as well as St Peter's Church in Fibsborough later on, as architect. Ashlin modelled the church tower on the steeple of the beautiful and famous cathedral in Salisbury in England. He also tried to use as many Irish materials as possible. The walls, for example, are built with granite from Wicklow, while the pulpit is carved in Irish oak, and no expense was spared. The church cost £9,000 to build, and was later connected to Lord Ardalon's house in the estate by a tree-lined avenue. The church was supposed to open on All Saints' Day, 1st of November, 1889, Lord Ardalon and his father's birthday. But Lord Ardalon's sister died, so the opening was postponed until 16th of December. Now, Lord Ardalon was one of only a few people who had a private church on their estate, but although it was privately built, it was open to all parishioners and is still in use today. There are 18 beautiful stained glass windows in the church. Two of them are in the mortuary chapel where Lord and Lady Ardalon are buried. On one of the walls in this chapel is a curse that says, Cursed be he who would disturb those sleeping here.